In the 1850s, mass-produced clocks spread time consciousness among those who were used to their normal schedule of being woken up by people knocking on their doors. Clocks resulted in a change of how the factories and assembly lines worked. Clocks caused there to be more scheduled workdays and more efficiency in the workplace. Alex Bain, a Scottish clockmaker, patented the first electric clock in 1840. Clocks consist of an object that repeats the same motion over and over again. An oscillator keeps the beat or repetition between each motion. There is a controller device attached to the oscillator which sustains the oscillator's motion by replacing the energy it loses due to friction. The clock was used to keep time in a factory and it made sure people got their work done at a certain time and it implemented scheduled work days for workers. The clock resulted in a whole new perception of time. The good effects of the clock was that business became very time conscious. They became very focused on speed efficiency and product output which resulted in much more efficient assembly lines that produced much more product than before in a shorter amount of time. The measurement of time has had its consequences like the thought that you had to produce an amount of product in a certain time frame that excelled human capabilities. This caused workers to have increased stress and anxiety and workers became so overworked they had serious injuries from falling asleep on the job. The good effects of the clock outweigh the bad because clocks made work much more efficient in the factories and produced deadlines so work could get done faster. In the 19th century, the introduction of standard time and time zones separated the time of day. Time signals like the bells and dials of public clocks once were used all the time to mark certain times. The ball that is dropped in Times Square once was used as a time signal that served as a way for navigators to check their marine chronometers. When the railroads began running trains on complex schedules, keeping a schedule that could be followed over the distance of hundreds of miles required synchronization that had never been tried before. Telegraphy and shortwave radio were used to send time signals to the trains from the most accurate clocks available. Radio broadcasting created a way for everyone to synchronize their clock so that they all told the same time. The broadcasting of time announcements over radio and television also enabled all the households listening to synchronize their clocks so they told the same time. The mass production of clocks and watches tightened time discipline in the West. Before these machines were made, no workers would complain about their work schedule being 15 minutes longer than it should be, or not getting paid for their work hours. 